Washington, D.C. I'm going to show you everything that you can see and do there. At the Botanic Gardens is not just for people who enjoy gardening and flowers. It's for adults and kids of all ages. As you can see by this series of clips in this intro, it is absolutely beautiful, tropical in some places, and you're going to absolutely love it. What you're looking at right now is the outside of the garden, and this is in the middle of the winter, so it's not very lush. Uh, however, there is a nice area. I'm going to show you that at the end of the video, but this is what it looks like as you walk in. If you are wondering where the Botanic Garden is located, it's right in front of the U.S. Capitol. If you're facing the Capitol, it's to the right. Although, looking around, you can't tell, it's below freezing on the outside. However, inside is nice and warm and lush. They have tropical environments and um, they also have desert environments. So it has everything. So don't think that because you're going there, maybe say during the winter, you're gonna get less than the optimal experience. What many people don't know is that the Botanic Gardens has been around for a very long time. It's the oldest Botanic Gardens in the entire United States. And as you can see, we just entered uh, the tropical area and you can see the different plants and foliage. And it again, middle of the winter, it is below freezing outside, but this area is nice and warm and you get a lot of different variety of plant life. The largest portion of the indoor section of the uh, botanic garden is going to be the conservatory and that's where you're going to find your tropical plants. Just like the other Smithsonian museums, the botanic garden is free. However, it's not part of the Smithsonian. It's actually ran by Congress, uh, the division of the architect of the Capitol. Depending on the time of year that you go to the Botanic Gardens, you're going to see different displays. This display we're seeing right here is actually made of plant material and it's a figure uh, of different, very important uh, buildings within our nation's capital. What about coming here was that I didn't feel like I had to always be walking around. There's plenty of seating for you to just sit there, read a book, be on your telephone apparently or just really just enjoy this space and have a great view of beautiful flowers. Surprisingly, a lot of people who visit the Botanic Gardens don't realize that there are two floors. You can actually just walk up a series of stairs and then walk around the conservatory and get a bird's eye view of the uh, tropical environment. As you watch this video, you'll notice that there are lots of kids here. I brought my kids here and they had a great time. One of the things they really liked was the outside. And I'm gonna take you there in a moment because it has a train set. And if you, even if you don't like train sets, model train sets, the way they do this is absolutely beautiful. Um, we actually came here for the train set and we went to the Botanical Gardens. So this right here is what it looks like. You can tell that they spent a ton of time putting this together. These are small miniature trains and they are so lifelike and the scenery is absolutely beautiful. It's stunning. Most of my viewers know that I specialize in fun and interesting things for individuals and families to do in the DC metro area. If you have ever been to the Botanic Gardens, I would love to hear what your experience is like. Please share that in the comments section. In addition to the outside train set and the plant-based buildings that we saw inside, there's also decorative figures on the outside of the garden. Now here's just a small sampling of some of the outside attractions that people find interesting. So of course we're outside and the outside garden section is just as large as, as the indoor walking area. Um, so there's lots to see and explore and across the street is also another garden area. So if you're ever visiting Botanic Gardens, 
be sure to drop by there as well. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Please don't forget to like and most importantly, subscribe.